I'm going to make apple beignets for you. If you're a fan of our other cooking show, Time in the Kitchen, I made these a number of years ago, but because they're such a delicious recipe, it's worth having it repeated and shown again for those of you who haven't seen it. Well, what I started with is uh, golden delicious apples, and I have peeled and cored two of them, and I'm going to peel and core the third one. That's a tough apple. Okay. And now we're going to peel it. And after I peel them, we are going to put these apples into a spice mixture and stick it in the refrigerator and almost let it marinate. And then we're also going to make the batter. And both of these things have to sit in the refrigerator until they get very cold, approximately one hour. Then when they come out, I will dip the, drain the apple slices from the marinade. I will dip them in the batter and we will deep fat fry them. Yes, very good. Okay, I take off these two ends again. This will be treats for me and the camera guy. And then slices. I don't know how thick that is. Approximately eighth of an inch, maybe. I'm terrible at guessing, but you can see they're rings. And this one's kind of cockeyed, so this is going to be another treat for us. Okay, put these aside for the moment. Now, in a large bowl, we're going to put our apple slices. We're going to put in a half a cup of regular white sugar. About a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, approximately. Kind of stir that around a little bit. And then we're gonna add either a half a cup of bourbon, brandy, or rum. If you don't wanna use any alcohol in your cooking, you could use um, apple uh, cider. And so we're gonna put that in there. And kind of mush it around so they all get coated with this stuff. Get them down in there. Now, I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap and this will go in the refrigerator for an hour. For the batter, I have one and three quarter cups of white flour, approximately a half a teaspoon of salt. Mix that up a little bit. Okay. And to this, we're going to add two egg yolks. Save the whites for later. They're gonna go in here, but not until later. Two tablespoons of melted butter. Three quarters of a cup of whole milk. And two thirds of a cup of any flat beer. Just let the beer sit on the counter or give it a good shake. That's gonna give it some good oomph to the batter. Now, we're gonna mix this up. Later on, after this has been in the refrigerator for an hour, we'll take those egg whites and we'll beat them till they're stiff and we'll fold it into this and that'll lighten it up a little bit. So there's our batter. There's our apples in the refrigerator for an hour. I'll clean up and get my oil ready. All right, it's time to put these together. I've taken my apples out of the refrigerator and I drained them. And here is the batter that we made out of the refrigerator. And I took those extra two egg whites that were left over from the egg yolks and I beat them until they were stiff peaks. That's stiff. And now we're gonna put those into our batter. Okay, and now we're going to fold them in. You don't wanna just whip them up because you'll just deflate all the air you just put into those egg whites and they'll just go flat and they'll lose all all the air that you tried so hard to put in there okay I'm just getting all those egg whites into there and you can you can feel how much lighter the batter feels where it felt kind of heavy before nice whites mixed in okay all right, the dangerous part. This is our oil. It's heated up to 375 degrees. Be very careful, please. Okay, an apple. Shake 
Shake it off. In it goes. I'm using a electric fry pan for a couple of reasons. I can put a lot of apples in here. I got a lot of space, doesn't use a lot of oil, and it, it has its own temperature gauge, so you don't have to buy a fancy thermometer or anything. And these things are fairly inexpensive. And you can see, well, I can see, I don't know if you can see, how the apples are already starting to puff. And I wouldn't put a lot in here because the more you put in here, the temperature's gonna take a nosedive and then you don't get very crisp beignets you get. Okay, I'm only gonna do five. Even though I can fit a lot more in here, I don't want the temperature to fall so much that they don't fry, they just get gummy. Couple minutes each side. Now there's many different versions of apple beignets. This is mine. Some of them use chopped apples and they're, they're put in scoops into the oil, but I like this one. It's kind of, it's easy. It looks pretty out of plate and they taste wonderful. Then you can serve these any number of ways. You can serve them this way. You can serve them um, with a scoop of vanilla ice cream, or you can serve them the way I'm going to serve them, and that's just with some powdered sugar on top. All you need. I'm turning them over a couple of times, but you should really probably just put them in, leave them on two minutes, turn them, leave them on two minutes. You want to drain them on paper towels well. All right, there's another batch in the pan and we're gonna let those go, but I can't wait any longer. I've got a little bit of powdered sugar here. And a fork. Mm. It's still pretty hot, but boy, is that delicious. Try them, you'll love them.